Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the virulence factors of bacteria. Virulence factors. Uh, virulence is described as an ability of an organism uh, to infect the host and cause a disease. Uh, the term virulence was first coined by Louis Pasteur, who is widely known as the father of modern microbiology. Uh, virulence factors are bacteria associated molecules that are required for a bacterium to cause disease while infecting eukaryotic hosts such as uh, humans. Virulence factors are extracellular products released by bacterial cells and are involved in the pathogenesis of the bacteria. Uh, bacterial virulence factors enables a host to replicate and disseminate within a host in part by subverting or eluding host defenses. There are uh, six factors predisposing to microbial pathogenicity or virulence. They are adhesion, invasiveness, extracellular enzymes, antiphagocytic factors like capsules and antiphagocytic chemicals, and toxins like exotoxins and endotoxins. The first virulence factor is adhesion. Adhesion or attachment of microorganism is the first step of uh, microbial pathogenicity. Uh, adhesion mainly takes place with the help of uh, surface appendages in bacteria like flagella, pili and fimbriae and the protein adhesin present in the surface appendages of bacteria and helps for the adhesion or attachment process. And the adhesins can serve as a virulence factor and it is antigenic in nature. The second virulence factor is invasiveness. The ability of the pathogen to spread in the host tissue after establishing infection is called as invasiveness. A highly invasive pathogen can cause generalized or systemic infection and the less invasive pathogen can cause localized or local infection. The third virulence factor is extracellular enzymes. Uh, many pathogens secrete enzymes that enable them to dissolve structural chemicals in the body and thereby maintain some infection, invade further and avoid body defenses. Uh, extracellular enzymes of bacteria are highly virulent in nature and some examples for the bacterial extracellular enzymes are uh, hyaluronidase which digests the hyaluronic acid which acts as a glue in the animal cell. Next, the collagenase, uh, which is able to break down the collagen, which acts as a body's chief structural protein. Next is uh, coagulase, uh, which causes blood protein to clot. And finally, staphylokinase and streptokinase, which digest the blood clot. And next, a fungi that cause ringworm infection produce an extracellular enzyme called as uh, keratinase. Uh, the enzyme keratinase digests the keratin protein uh, which acts as the main and major component of skin, hair and nails of human beings. And finally, uh, entamoeba histolytica secretes, the, secretes an extracellular enzyme called mucinase to digest the mucus lining the intestinal tract allowing the amoeba entry to the underlying cells where it causes amoebic dysentery. The fourth virulence factor is antiphagocytic factors and the first antiphagocytic factor is capsule. The capsule of many pathogenic bacteria are effective virulent factors because many, fa many capsules are composed of uh, polysaccharides and they do not stimulate a host immune response. Uh, capsules are often uh, slippery uh, make it difficult for phagocyte to surround and phagocytes. The second antiphagocytic factor is antiphagocytic chemicals. Uh, some bacteria produce chemicals that prevents the fusion of lysosomes with uh, phagocytic uh, vesicles and allowing the bacteria to survive inside the phagocytes. Uh, Streptococcus pyogens produce a protein on its cell wall and fimbria called uh, M protein. Uh, this M protein inhibits the phagocytosis and thus increases the virulence of the bacteria Streptococcus pyogens. 
and other bacteria produce uh, leucosidins, uh, which are the chemicals capable of destroying the phagocytic W bases or uh, white blood cells outright. The fifth and final virulence factor is toxins. Uh, toxins are the poison of plant or animal or microbial origin uh, that can act as an antigen of the body. Uh, basically, uh, toxins are of two types. They are exotoxins and endotoxins. Uh, toxins like cytotoxin, neurotoxin and enterotoxins are coming under the exotoxins category. Dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.